So what do you do if you are serving in the ad court, but you're left-handed? And the situation is you hit your serve, return comes back, and then uh, this player in particular has a tendency with their forehand to kind of leave it a little bit high, and then the returner's partner is able to poach on that thing and put it away. So this is a tip I learned from Martina Navratilova, and it doesn't matter if you're a lefty or a righty in this situation. Uh, it's a great tip, it's a little bit counterintuitive. So you're hitting this high ball that is getting crushed and poached by the net player. So you might think, well, I need to get the ball down or I need to rip it or I need to hit it behind. Actually what you wanna do is hit it even higher. So what you're trying to do is get it up over their backhand shoulder. So for a right-hander, this is gonna be a backhand volley. So if it's high, but it's still here, they can hit a good volley. But if they're now reaching like this, where it's almost a backhand overhead, then uh, they're not gonna be able to think, do anything with it. They're gonna hit a weak shot, then your partner's gonna come in and clean up. So you, one way to think about it is you hit your ground stroke even higher, or you hit like a low lob. Like you're not trying to actually clear this person necessarily, you just wanna force them to hit a high backhand volley, like really high backhand volley, or high backhand overhead. One nuance to this is you wanna make sure they are not coming to the net. You go high, and it gets back to a player who's staying back. If they're coming in, then this could be a high volley or an approach shot, and then you might get your partner killed. So that is the one nuance, but that's the, uh, this again was Martinez tip. She's like, in the ad court, just hit it high over the, uh, the righty's high, uh, high backhand and uh, you're gonna be good to go. Hope you like that training. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of the term stare decisis? It's a legal term that has absolutely nothing to do with your tennis game, but what does have to do with your tennis game is the singles playbook and the doubles playbook. So if you click the link, I'll show you some of my favorite plays, and if you like it, you can pick up a copy.